Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got Gunslinger Spillway Suicidal. Today, today, my Oculus Quest 2, one of them, one of the ones that I've paid for and ordered apparently, uh, one of them showed up at my door. Uh, I'm assuming it's the Best Buy one because uh, I didn't, it, the, the serial number doesn't line up with what the Oculus one is supposed to be, so... I opened it up and I'm be using it. I don't know, maybe maybe it's the one that got bounced. You know, maybe they ended up sending it anyway. Um which would be weird, but uh Best Buy still doesn't say that it's been delivered. So I'm I'm just confused, really, cuz cuz Best Buy and Oculus both still have one on the way to my place right now. Uh and I also have one and I only should be getting two of them. And one of them shouldn't even be, like, coming my... It's just, it's, like, everything with the situation is just kind of like... Huh? You're a little what? What? <laughs> you know? Uh, but, but, you know, whatever. You know, the, the moral of the story here is that I have an Oculus Quest 2. And I'm going to be straight up with you. There are going to be some delays to the whole getting my new channel up and running because I'm going to be playing a lot of VR. Like, a lot of it. Um, because it's amazing. It's far and above the best gaming experience I've ever had. Now, they're not the best games, right? Like, I've, I've got Beat Saber uh, and then, like, a free roller coaster just because I wanted to see if I'd get, like, motion sickness from riding that kind of stuff, and I don't. Um... I don't get motion sickness or dizzy or anything like that, so I, I and I don't think I will. I don't think VR is ever gonna like just just being in it. it I, I I don't think I'm gonna get motion sickness from it. it. You know, I think that you're gonna be able to feel it. You know, when when you got it going on, I think I think you're gonna get into it and be like, yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely. I couldn't just be in this for like ten hours. I I could. There there like no question. I could easily be in VR for like ten hours and I wouldn't be motion sick from that at all. Um, now the resolution is like just terrible, um, which is expected, you know, but it's even worse than I expected. <laughs> it, it's really, really bad. Now that doesn't make a difference in like games, but definitely I thought I might be able to do like some virtual desktop kind of, it's, it, I, I knew that going into it, I knew that it would be a worse experience than having actual monitors. And I thought, I don't know, maybe it'd be kind of cool to have like a virtual desktop kind of thing set up. Not viable. Com just completely, straight up, 100% not viable to, to have that be a thing. It, it, you can't do that. Um, for, for me, anyway. The, the resolution is just nowhere near what it needs to be. Um, the frame rate, 90 hertz. 90 hertz is, is like highly acceptable, in my opinion. 90 hertz is like very good. Um, uh, like very playable, not giving like headaches or anything like that. Like it's it's uh, smooth and it, it it just feels like um, I don't know. Like I don't have my glasses on. Really, is, is kind of what it feels like when I'm in uh, VR. It it just kind of feels like I don't have my glasses on. You know, like it's 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 a little bit you know worse than that. But that's the best way I could describe it. It 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 doesn't feel like I'm I'm in. Like this virtual reality, it just it, it feels like I'm in real reality and it's blurry, which is uh, amazing. So I played Beat Saber, as I said, I bought Beat Saber on the Oculus Quest 2. So if I ever get like uh, 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 yeah. and that's the other thing is I don't really want to be buying too many games on it because I probably will end up getting a, a Vive or not a Vive, um, Index, a Valve Index at some point um, but um, my sister played it she had a, a, an enormous amount of fun with it um, my mother has not tried it yet but she should be getting home soonish in the next hour or two and I'm, I'm gonna see if she wants to give it a try maybe let her try it a roller coaster while she's sitting down or something so she doesn't have to be on her feet playing Beat Saber or something um, and then uh, my father hasn't really given it a try playing anything uh, but he has like walked around in a in like a home area place thing, you know. And he, he his mind was was quite blown. But uh, yeah, no, like by far, 
the best gaming experience I've ever had. Again, not the most fun, okay? It wasn't the most fun gaming experience I've ever had, but like, definitely nothing compares to how just like amazing it feels, you know? Like the, the experience of playing it. Nothing compares to being able to just like turn my head and then see what the heck's over there, you know? Like being able to, to, to reach out and like touch things. It it just it's 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 so amazingly it's it's just it's just it's it, it's a whole nother world of of gaming. It's incredible. The thing that got me, the the part where I that, that like I was like, wow, this is this is like this this is better than I expected. Cause I hyped it up a lot, right? Like I was hyped AF. For, uh, for VR, I, I was like, this is going to be the coolest thing ever, and I'm super excited to get it. And I've been, like, on it for, like, you know, past week and a, and a bit, a week and a half-ish since I ordered it. Um, it, it was so much better than I expected, and, and the, the moment that I realized that was when I was going through the initial, like, Oculus setup. Okay? So you, you put on your headset or whatever, and you get all the, you know, the the IPD stuff set up and blah 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 whatever right like the initial stuff you do before you need any controllers and then you have to grab your controllers okay you have to grab your controllers you have to start interacting with UI elements right I looked towards my controller the, the little like you know quest controller things right they were just sitting there and I just reached out and grabbed them like like it was nothing and I didn't even realize that this was cool until like a moment later when I was like wait they're just there they, they just exist I can see them I know where they are I can naturally just reach out and grab them and pick them up like it's just I can just see it there and just interact with it it was that that was the moment when I was like yeah this is amazing this this lives up to my expectations and then some because it was so natural you know like I just I just I looked at my controllers they were there I picked them up and I know it sounds like such a small thing, but when I, I let my my sister and my father try it, I put on the headset, I handed them the controllers, and they had the same reaction. They were like, whoa. And they just grabbed them from me. They couldn't see me. There was no pass-through. It was just recognizing the controllers and then putting them in the virtual space and then being able to see how far away they were and naturally grab it. It was incredible like that that and that that's such a small thing but like it, it's such a just perspective like changing experience to have when 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 you can see something in space and then reach out and actually grab it and pick it up like that's just nothing comes close to that for for like a, a technology like experience that i've ever had it was it was it was it was mind-blowing so much better than I, I expected it to be. Anyway, I played Beat Saber. I played Beat Saber for probably about an hour, hour and a half today. I'm going to be playing an enormous amount of Beat Saber. That game is so much fun. Um, it's so much fun. I have to get the... It's it's also, like, hard. Like, Beat Saber is not easy. Um... And I know you're like, you know, if you've never played Beat Saber, if you've never been in VR or whatever, you're like, yeah, you know, obviously, like, have you, have you seen it? Like, stuff's coming at you like a mile a minute, and like, of course it's going to be hard. No. <laughs> nah, sweetie. <laughs> Darling. Honey. It's, it's, it's like, oh, because, because, because the, you gotta, you know, you also have the issue of like, the things explode and then like go through your face and 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 once you add in that you have to actually be like moving around to reach them and stuff like it adds so many more layers of difficulty that you don't even think about 
It's 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 just it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Um, it's a good workout too. Like it's really really fun and it's a good workout. So I'm like, heck yeah, I'm gonna be playing a ton of Beat Saber. It it's fun. You know, like genuinely, one of my favorite games is is Beat Saber now. Like it's actually just so good. Uh, uh, yeah. So that was that was like super super cool. I'm gonna be definitely seeing if I can get like some side loaded stuff onto there for some custom maps or something like that. Um, cause like, I want <laughs> I want some uh, more stuff. But even just with what we got on the quest, it's like pretty good. Um, I would love to get some some like cooler stuff on there for sure. Um, I'm not able really. I don't. Well, I haven't actually tried it. Uh, I haven't set up virtual desktop yet at all. Uh, I'd like to maybe try uh, to get some like wireless kind of stuff going on because you can like with virtual desktop. It's not just about having the desktop spaces. Um, it's also about being able to play like desktop VR games on the Quest and like sideload stuff and blah 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 blah. Like that's your connection between the desktop and the uh, the quest it's not it's not specifically just uh, a virtual desktop you know but it, it was it was it was just a mind-blowing experience really like it lived up to what I, I had expected of it and so much more so much more it was it was just it was so cool I'm, I want to like buy so many things like I want to buy super hot I want to buy it like I want to buy all of the things and play them all and like try them and like see what I like and stuff but uh, it costs money. They're all like 40 bucks Canadian each. Like, they're not cheap. As much as I wish they were, they ain't cheap. Which is, uh, the main problem, because you have to, you know, buy the dang thing, which, I don't know, do I have three of them coming now? <laughs> Who knows? Um, you have to buy the dang thing, and then, uh, also buy the games. And then they're only available on the quest, because it's like, Quest specific games. It's it's not you know cross platform. You got Beat Saber on uh, on PC VR, and then you also have Beat Saber on the Quest. They're different games. Like they are actually different. Um, just like it, like the differences tend to be just minor optimizations and stuff to make it run on the Quest hardware because the Quest hardware is not very good. But uh, it, like definitely good enough to be like a very very good VR experience if you've never had VR before. Like, I'm sure that if you're used to playing on your, your Valve Index or whatever, like, the the Quest 2 is, is probably a pretty not super good gaming experience in general. Actually, you know what? Uh, Quest 2 resolution. Uh, the Quest 2 has... 1832 by 1920 per eye and uh, 90 Hz although 90 Hz isn't supported in everything it is supported in a lot of things and they're going to be supporting everything eventually it's it's updates that are going to be coming out afterwards probably like optimizations and stuff I'd imagine um, or like just some changes to the actual apps to make them support 90 Hz instead of being like locked to 72 who knows but uh, 90 Hz is going to be supported eventually which is amazing because that does make a huge difference to the game. Like immediately when I turned it on in the like home area thing, it was like, wow, that's a big difference. Um, uh, do, do, do. So the, the Valve Index has Valve Index resolution i think they're actually comparable maybe even better but I, I think uh yeah so the the valve index is 1440 by 1600 so it's like they're they're fairly comparable resolutions but the valve index can go up to 120 hertz which is a very good experience plus you have like light boxes better tracking and all that kind of stuff as well which is also going to impact the overall experience of, of playing in vr of course um it feels weird playing games and then like having my normal room around me and not being able to just like I keep like turning my head to turn the like camera it's 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 weird um yeah anyway so like uh, the the quest 2 is actually like a, a pretty good 
thing, but if you're if you're used to like the Valve Index, probably gonna be like a pretty subpar gaming experience. I think the Valve Index has a better resolution, but they're not even the same aspect ratio, I believe. So it's kind of hard to say like which one's better just looking at the the spec sheet. Um. So. But I, I I believe the Valve Index resolution is a little bit better. You have a little bit more field of view, I think. Uh, and then you definitely have like a lot more frame rate, which is, is 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 very good. But if you've never played on that, right? Like I've never played on that. The Quest Two is like very 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 good. It's not a bad experience. It's just uh, not the best experience. So you know, it's kind of like if you if you're used to driving like I don't know. I was gonna say like a big car or something like that. If you're used to playing on, you know, games on your, you know, Ryzen 5950X and your, you know, RTX 3090s, and then you go to your friend's house who's got, uh, you know, some random Intel laptop with, you know, Iris XE graphics, uh, probably not going to be having the best gaming experience there, and you're kind of probably going to be like, wow, this game just, like, it's just not really that fun, because, like, you're used to having high resolution, high frame rates, and all that kind of stuff, and that's, you know, what you're used to, but if you're not used to it, then it's fine. If you're, if you're the person who's on the Iris XE and, you know, the laptop, if you're the friend, you're probably like, yeah, I love this game, like, this game is great, you know? Like, everybody has that friend, or you are that friend, um, where you're like, oh man, I'm getting, like, 30 FPS, like, it's going pretty good, and, uh, you know, your friends are always like, 30? Man, that sucks. <laughs> you know, but like to you, it's it's good. And I'm I'm now that person, right? I'm I'm that person with the 30 hertz and being like, this is amazing. And other people are like, hey, it's it's okay, it's okay. But you know, that doesn't detract from my experience, which is amazing. It's so good. VR was everything I would hoped it would be, and then and then so much more. I think, I think, you know, I'm gonna even go on out on, out on a limb here. I think that the Quest 2, a, I think there is a, a very valid argument to be made in favor of the Quest 2 over the Valve Index, even as a high-end VR headset. I think there is a very valid argument to be made there because of the Quest's portability, right? Yes, the index gets slightly better resolution, better frame rate, better tracking, probably better comfort, <laughs> uh, better controllers. It, there's a lot of betters here, but um, I, I, I genuinely think that there, there is a, a very valid argument to be made in favor of the Quest 2 over the Valve Index as a high-end VR gaming headset, just because you, it's so portable. Like I, I took it upstairs and just set up a different zone. Just like, bop, there it is. And I was playing upstairs. I played it downstairs, set up a zone there, sat in a different chair for a bit, set up a little solitary zone there. I didn't have to be tethered to anything. I just went wherever I wanted to be and played there, just depending on, like, where other people were and and uh, what I kind of had to, to work around with the area, right? Which was uh, not something that you'd be able to do with a Valve Index because you have to have the light boxes, you have to have tethered and stuff, and you can get some wireless options and stuff, but it's just... It's not good. Anyway, the main issue that I have with the Oculus Quest 2 is the battery life. So I am definitely going to be buying a, uh, a battery pack and keeping it, like, charged while I'm using it. Um, like, 100% that's necessary. <laughs> it does not last long. You get it up to 100%, you got, like, an hour, an hour and a half at best. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's portable, but, yeah. It's not it's not lasting very long. Charge is pretty quick, but it doesn't last very long. You know. You gotta keep that battery weight down too, right? Otherwise it's gonna feel like lopsided and uncomfortable and stuff. So like I get it, but like and then they have a lot of stuff going on in it too. So there, there's there's a lot going on, but um anyway. By far the best gaming experience I've ever had, Beat Saber in VR. Like just so good. It was amazing. Um but that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.